Hey y'all, and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today we have an eight minute booty workout using a mini ball. Now a mini ball is a fun way to add creativity and variety to your bar or bar fusion type workouts. If you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. And here is where you will find creative, fun workouts using some of my favorite methods. And I hope you enjoy the variety just as much as I do. For today's workout, we have one minute each exercise. I will talk you through each one. We'll go through it from beginning to end. If you want a longer workout today, go check out my 10 minute shoulders and thighs video for a total body workout that will get you working all the good parts in under 20 minutes. But let's get to today's moves. We're gonna start in fold over position on the mat, elbows down, and we're gonna tuck that ball right behind your right knee. So elbows underneath shoulders, anchoring your left knee under your left hip, and we're just gonna pulse that knee up away from the floor. So we're gonna start with this big range of motion. About halfway through our minute, we will adjust to make it a little bit smaller. Now this is working your shoulders, your abs, your hamstring, and your low glutes. Lots of good stuff. And now we're halfway through, we're gonna make that range of motion smaller. Try and keep that knee parallel to the floor. And control the moves. Small range of motion is all about controlling the movement. And now I want you to hold here, hold it up five, four, three, two, one, perfect. Grab a hold of that ball, it's gonna come right here underneath your right hand. And we're gonna open up into sideline on the floor. So we're still working that right side and we're gonna pull that toe away from the floor like there's an invisible cable. So my left arm is still underneath my left shoulder. You're working your left side obliques just a little bit here. And we're starting to get a lot of heat in that right seat muscle. A little tip here, make sure you're using your whole palm on your mini ball here to take pressure off your wrist. And the hand on the ball here is just adding some instability. It's really challenging your core while you're lighting up that booty and we're changing that move. We're gonna pull the toe in, pull it in, push it out. Yes, here we go, pull it in, push it out. Give me two more. Lots of fire there and hold it out. Nice work. I'm gonna switch sides for you and set up and we're gonna take fold over on the left. So we're changing back, elbows down, flex that foot, drive it up. So now your right, right knee is under your right hip and it's gonna feel a little bit hard this time because you just worked that right muscle and now you're asking it to hold you up. So there are layers upon layers of complex body work. I'm gonna adjust my ball, it's sliding out. That, that might happen. <laughs> now we're gonna adjust that range of motion, making it smaller here, pushing that knee up parallel to the floor if you can. And we're gonna hold it here for the last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. So now we have sideline on this side, right elbow underneath right shoulder, lengthening those left toes away from the mat, straighten that arm, take it up. So play around with the position of your hand on the ball here, but don't lose focus and work in that seat muscle right back there. Get it. A long line away from the floor. This is a fun move for challenging your whole body. So if you like creative fusion type workouts like this, go ahead and give this video a like for me. So I'll know to add some more things just like this for you. And we're gonna change that move. We're gonna curl the toe in, take it out. Curl it in, take it out in, 
Yeah, we're almost there. Two more. Last one. Nice. And we're going to switch sides again here. So we're going to take that mini ball and put it underneath your right knee on the bottom. So again, that instability under your knee is challenging your hip joints and your core. So we're going to relax into your upper body just a little bit. Take that mini ball right here under the knee. Heels together and turn out position. Her toes <laughs> turned out heels together. And we're opening that hip. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of fire right here. And that's exactly where I want it. That's where I want that shape in my seat. Beautiful, stay with it. Keep those abs in tight, open from the knee. You can balance with the fingertips right here if you need to. And then we're gonna keep those feet here and we're gonna press that knee down into the floor. Press, press, press. Changing that motion makes that so much more intense. Right here, nice. All right, other side. So again, we just fatigued that right muscle. Now we're gonna ask it to help us stabilize while we work on the left. Make sure you get your position of your mini ball right under your knee, not too far back in, and open. It's also important to try and get 90 degrees between your ankle, knee, and hip right here. Toes out, opening. So these are clam openers. And I love these because they look so darn easy. But oh my gosh, the fire that you get from this tiny range of motion. We're getting it, we're getting it. And then we're gonna change that. We're gonna press down into the floor, into your mat, like you're connecting that top knee to the ball, even though you're not, we're almost there. Take two more. Perfect. Oh, me. So we just got really deep into the sides. Now we're gonna bring it back in to your middle seat muscle. We're gonna put that mini ball right between your knees. I'm gonna lift up here and we're gonna just flex back and push forward, flex back and push forward. So I'm kind of contracting my seat and my inner thighs. I'll do one more like this, then I'm gonna to rotate to the side for you just so you can see that. So I'm flexing back, squeezing up tall, flex and squeeze, back and squeeze. Now, if you have a good contraction on that mini ball, you're gonna get this a little bit in your thighs. And that's fine, a little extra work isn't gonna kill us. Really squeeze here. We're almost there, three, two, hold here, three, two, one. Nice job, our last move is bridge pose. We're gonna take that ball between the knees. I want you nice and tight, almost like you're trying to mermaid those knees together. And we're gonna go ahead and releve those hips up and we're gonna just push through your toes, one side, right and left. Let me scoot down just a little bit, just in case we're not getting that very good. Right and left, right and left. So this is a challenge because that ball wants to roll those legs around. And we got it right here, shimmy them up. Don't lose your mermaid. Try to don't lose your tail, pull them in. Push and push. Keep it going for three, two, one. Just pulses up, pulse, 
and pulse. You should start to feel this right here. And hold it there for three, two, and one. Bring those knees in if you need to. Roll out the hips. And there is your eight minute seat workout with a mini ball. Thanks so much for being here today. Don't forget to go ahead and check that bell notification off your to-do list today so that you know when new classes like this are loaded to the channel and you can join me here for class more often.